Koenigsegg is a highly innovative hypercar maker, which has built some intriguing upgrades over the years. This has included the Air Corps hollow wheel, the rocket catalytic converter, and even a variable geometry turbo system. Their latest reveal is the dark matter motor, which does not quite solve the biggest riddle of the universe, but rather enables two motor designs into one ultra powerful 600 kilowatt, 800 horsepower, 80 pound motor. How did they obtain these extreme numbers? And is this even real? With no pun intended. The majority of electric cars utilize radial flux motors, and this type of magnetic flux is perpendicular to the axis of rotation. A stator is outfitted with electromagnetic coils which alternate in polarity, and this rotor interacts with this alternating magnetic field, thus it can rotate and produce torque. It's a very simple yet effective motor design. Lamination stacks can be manufactured quickly, and this type of motor can be produced at a relatively low cost. However, there are a couple of emerging motor designs for higher end performance. And more specifically, these motor designs have been known for some time, but are more tricky to manufacture. One of them is the axial motor, and this can generate a magnetic flux parallel to the axis of rotation. In theory, this is a more efficient design, but very high magnetic forces are between the rotor and stator. So maintaining a uniform air gap is very important, but this also can be tricky. The coil windings are also located between the stator and rotor, so this motor can be very difficult to cool down. So there are different variations when it comes to the radial and axial flux motor. Even this simple kit, which I bought several years ago, demonstrates the axial flux topology design. But one thing you will notice right away is that there are higher tolerances when it comes to the axial motor because there are stronger magnetic fluxes involved. And this also means that the manufacturing techniques have not yet evolved to the point where it makes this motor cost effective. But now that's starting to change. As a result, we are starting to see several companies which are pursuing to build the axial flux motor. Yasa is definitely one of the pioneers when it comes to this, and they have a yokeless variant which can produce around 10 kilowatts per kilogram, with speeds up to 9,000 RPM. This is a great example of a radial machine. Um, it's about 400 newton meters. Uh, it's about 50 kilograms. It's got maybe uh, 25, 30 kilograms of, of, of iron in it. Now, I'll compare that to a, an axial flux machine. Here's a, a motor of similar sort of torque. Uh, you can see it's similar-ish in diameter, uh, but you'll notice very quickly, it's only about a sixth of the length, so huge space saving, about four times the torque density. Tree Axial has also pursued a similar yokeless design, which lowers iron mass, along with a more concentrated winding. So the question is as well, what is yokeless and why is this a big deal? It basically means that the stator is made of individual teeth that are not connected to any back iron. Magnets are then placed on the top and bottom of the rotor, which interacts with the flux created by each individual segment. And this means that it weighs less and it can produce more torque. But more importantly, it's easier to fabricate the windings. And I think that's why many companies are going towards the yokeless axial flux design. But the more fascinating fact is that these motors have a low profile, so they can be scalable and used in anything from scooters to a high performance hypercar. The Koenigsegg Dark Matter motor is a hybrid between the radial and axial. Supposedly, they have increased the rotor diameter against the bulk of the stator to accept extra flux. That is an official statement from the company, and admittedly vague. And many are questioning, well, why would you want to take a radial flux motor and incorporate this into a superior type of volumetric design? And the answer to this is I think this is all coming down to how the coil is shaped. And I honestly think that this coil is more U-shaped and wraps around the rotor. They also utilized a all carbon fiber design, which would be lighter than laminated steel plates, but this also means larger windings and more magnets. Furthermore, the stator is a six phase with the two separate three phase AC windings. So this means it can handle higher amperage and increased torque, but it would also need a very capable inverter at around 1000 amps. Ultimately, I am speculating that the dark matter is completely customized, and this is not something that you would see at an assembly line for Toyota. 
but since cost is not an issue, this would essentially be a very excellent variant for a hypercar. But I think we are just starting to see the beginning of hybrid motor designs. With additive manufacturing, you can create custom profiles without secondary machining or joining. Furthermore, there are new machines like the 6K microwave plasma, which can print alloys to the nanometer accuracy. And this is something that has really caught my attention because it is a continuous flow with instant deposition with control. Something that was not really available just within the last couple of years. We have also seen the emergence of algorithmic engineering, which is starting to take the rein by designing complex engines like the Hyperganic. Different thrust levels, heat dissipation, and geometries can all be tested in simulation before being transferred over to prototyping. And I think that's where we are going to head in the future with high-end motors. Linear Labs has already given us a glimpse of a complex 3D HET motor, which is basically a four rotor with toroidal flux. And if you can utilize more magnetic flux, this means the motor is more efficient. In the far future, we could eventually have a room temperature superconductive motor. But if we can design this in simulation first and then actually prototype it with new manufacturing techniques, then you can have something really innovative, which may even surpass the Koenigsegg Dark Matter motor. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about all this. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.